hi everyone welcome to the first video of my nft series on my channel now in this video i'll be showing you how you can buy nfts on binance nft marketplace in four simple steps now for the past two to three months i've been trying my hands on these things called nfts and i've learned a lot about nfts i've learned about buying nfts selling nfts making money with nfts and importantly how to pick the best and most profitable nfts to buy i've learned a lot out about how to get nfts for free how to mint nfts and i'm going to be sharing all this knowledge with you guys for free on this channel in this series that i've started so all i need from you guys is just to subscribe to my youtube channel and please like this video and if you don't want to miss any of these videos in this series please turn on the notification bell on my channel now that's that now if you are new to nfts and you are looking for the best platform to buy or sell nfts and make money with nfts i will advise that you use the binance nft marketplace now this is because number one it is user friendly number two it is very easy to use and number three they only take very very low fees compared to other platforms so make sure you watch this video to the end so you won't miss any vital information now before i continue this is your first time on my channel my name is Femi Lani and i make videos on personal finance cryptocurrencies the stock market and how to make money online so if you love content like this please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like this video thank you now to how to buy nfts on binance nft marketplace now the first thing you need to do is to ensure that you have bnb or busd or eth in your sports wallet now these are the three cryptocurrencies that you can use to purchase nfts on binance you know on some other platforms you're only allowed to use only eth but i love the fact that you know um, on binance you can also use bnb and busd so you know if you don't have any of these three cryptocurrencies in your sports wallet please just go to binance and buy any of these three cryptocurrencies don't forget bnb busd or eth and if you have other cryptocurrencies in your wallet you can just convert them to any of these three cryptocurrencies so if you go to my sports wallet right now you can see i have bnb eth and busd in my wallet so that is the first step the second step is to tap on binance nft on the home page of the binance app now as you can see on the home page where these are pointing to you can see how binance nft on the home page but if you don't have that on the home page of your app all you just have to do is just tap on this more icon right here and once you tap on it you scroll down to where you have the trade section so this is the trade section right right here you see binance nft where this arrow is pointed to and then you tap on binance nft now the third step is to pick the nft you want to buy now you know after you tap on binance nft on the home page to bring you to what you have on my screen right now and when you scroll down you will see you have recommended creators you have recommended collections you have trending nfts and a whole lot of nfts on binance nft marketplace now if you already have an nft in mind that you want to buy you can just go ahead and just you know check out the nft and just buy it but if you are new to nfts please don't just go and buy any random nft don't just go and buy any random nft and hoping that you make money with it no and most people won't tell you this there are some important things that you need to check before you buy any nft important things that you really need to check now I'm mentioning some of those things in this video now remember i'm doing an nft series and this is the first video of the series so in my subsequent videos i will still be talking about how to pick the best and most profitable nfts to buy i will still talk about how to make money with nfts i will still talk about how to sell nfts and create nfts so make sure that you turn on the notification bell of this channel so you don't miss any video now let me show you those important things that you really need to check before you pick the nft you want to buy so let's say for example i scroll down and then i pick any random nft so let's say i'm picking this nft right here this row and right here that you're seeing you can see the price of this nft is currently 99 busd which is approximately 98.96 dollars and then if you scroll down here once you want to buy an nft just tap on where you have this provenance to show you the activities of the nft now there are just two activities under this nft the first one which happened on the on the 11th of february 2022 it was minted by the owner of this nft and then on the 16th it was listed and since then nobody has bought this nft now this is to show you that if you buy this nft it will be very hard for you to see someone to buy it from you 
and you are buying nfts to make money from it so if you are buying nfts to make money you can't buy this kind of nft because no one has even bought it from the owner so if you are buying it it will be very hard for you to resell it and make money so to when you are buying nfts make sure you are buying nfts that have a whole lot of activities that people have been buying and selling and buying and selling that is where you can see that oh a lot of people are demanding for this nft and once you buy it you are certain that you have you are going to make money from it now how do you check out the best nft to buy to make money now what you need to do is to go to recommended collection so you can see where you have recommended collections here where these arrows pointing to you are going to tap on it now the reason why i say you should go to collections is because when you invest in collections you are investing in project and it is better to invest in project than just to invest in random nfts this is because you have higher chance of making money from collections and projects rather than random nfts so after you go to the top collections you can see where you have all time one day seven days and 30 days so you tap on 30 days i actually use 30 days now when you tap on 30 days you can see that you have different collections right here now you can see the first collection beside it you can see you have the volume usd that means the volume of nfts that have been traded in that collection that's the meaning of the volume in usd and for the first one it is 8.7 million dollars and then if you press the drop down arrow beside it where you can see that arrow once you tap it it's going to show you the number of sales that have been done in that collection in the last 30 days and it's also going to show you the number of items that means the number of nfts in that collection and the floor price is showing you the minimum price you can use to buy an nft in that collection so in the first collection right here, you can see we have 1,934 seals and we have 2,500 NFTs in that collection. And then the minimum amount you can use to buy an NFT in that collection is $1,279.49. Now if you feel like, okay, this one is too expensive for you to afford, you can just keep scrolling down, check the second one. And if you check, you can see that sales, 321 sales in the last 30 days and it has 8,888 NFTs and the floor price is $179. So if you can afford this, you can just tap on this and afford it or you can just keep scrolling. If you check this one, 53 sales, that's quite too small. So you can decide to no, check the next one, number four. And number four, you can see it has 18,000 sales, 18,200 sales, that's very, very huge. And then it has 1,000 NFTs. This is very, very huge, just 1,000 NFTs and then 18,000 sales. And then the floor price is $87.25. So if I were to be you right now, I'll go for this number four collection because it has huge amount of sales and just 1,000 NFTs. And the floor price is actually affordable, which is $87.25. So I've tapped on that collection right now. And then you can see floor price $87.25. The volume is $1.6 million. And then you can see the number of items, 1,000 items. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see the different NFTs in this collection so this is one of the best ways to check which nft is good for you to buy that you can use to make money very fast there are still other things you need to check out for but this is just one of the important things that you really need to check out don't forget i said i'll still be making a separate video on that now if you are getting something from this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video now the fourth step which is the last step is to buy the nft now there are three different ways for you to buy an nft on binance nft marketplace now the first one is true auction the second one is fixed price and then the third one is mystery box now i'm going to be explaining each one of them to you guys now now the first one which is auction now, if you go to some of these nfts in this collection you see that some of them have price you can see this price where these are responding to if you scroll down you see some of them have current bid if you keep scrolling this one has current bid if you keep scrolling this one has price you know they have price and current bid those ones you are seeing with current bid those are the ones you can buy through auction so for example this one that you are seeing right here it has current bid so let's tap on it and see how we can buy it through auction so after you tap on it you scroll down and then you can see that the current bid is 100 busd 100 BUSD, and then the auction will end in two days 23 hours 18 minutes and 19 seconds now, before you place a bid, you can decide to check the activities of this NFT. You can decide to just tap on provenance right here. And then you see that there are a lot of activities that have happened in this NFT. A lot of people have been buying and reselling this NFT. You can see a lot of people are buying and selling this NFT. So you have higher chance of making money when you buy this NFT. So let's go back to where we can bid for the NFT. So right here, if you want to place a bid, just tap on place a bid right here. And then it's going to show you the current bid is 100 BUSD. 
the minimum markup is 3.5 BUSD. That minimum markup means that the minimum amount that we add to the next bid. So if I'm going to be the next person, my own bid will be 103.5 BUSD. So if you have the money in your wallet, the next thing is just tap on place a bid. And just like that, you've already placed a bid for this NFT. Now I want you to note something. Your bid cannot be cancelled until a new bid is placed by someone else or maybe when the auction is over. And another option is that you can decide to buy the NFT straight away. You can just see where you have this buyout price. It is $150. So you can just decide to just buy this NFT straight away without bidding for it. And once you buy it, it's already yours and it will be in your wallet. So that's the first way you can buy an NFT on Binance NFT Marketplace. Now, the second way you can buy an NFT on Binance NFT Marketplace is through fixed price. Now, you can see that this NFT is having price here, yeah? not um, current bid. So, you tap on it. That means you can buy this NFT through fixed price. So, as you can see, the price of this NFT is 98 BUSD, which means that if you tap on buy now, and then if you have the money in your wallet, and then you tap on confirm, the NFT is already yours automatically. So, there's no bidding for this one. You are buying it straight away. So, that's the second way to buy an NFT on Binance NFT Marketplace. Now, the third way you can buy an NFT on Binance NFT Marketplace is called Mystery Box. Now, this one is different. Now, to check the Mystery Box, just tap on these three lines you have at the top right corner of the screen, and then you tap on where you have Mystery Boxes. Now, right here at the top of the screen where you are seeing um, these things that are just scrolling, where you are seeing these ones that are just scrolling, these are the different mystery boxes you can buy. Now, for this one, the, the first one you are seeing on the screen right now, sale starts in the next 20 hours, 15 minutes, and 30, to 30 seconds, and then the price of one mystery box is 50 BUSD. Now, this next one is Mecha Morphin Mystery Box. Sale starts in the next one day, 20 hours, 50 minutes, and 20 seconds. And the price of one mystery box is 300 BUSD. Now, if you check the other ones, this one is sold out, this one is sold out, this one is sold out. So these are just the two ones that are left, these two that are left right here. Now, I want to explain something to you about mystery boxes. Now, mystery for mystery boxes, you don't know what NFT is in that box when you're buying it. You don't even know what NFT is in that box at all so you just pay for it it's just like you're paying for it blindly and then once you pay for it they give you the box and then you open the box and then you see what is inside now the thing is that the nft that is inside might have more value than what you paid for and it may have a low value for what you paid for that's just the sweet thing about um mystery boxes now for example i bought a mystery box for just seven dollars and then i sold the mystery box for forty dollars that was very very huge forty dollars if i had known i would have sold it for even a much higher price because it had, it had more value than what i used to buy that mystery box so that's the third way you can buy nfts on binance nft marketplace now to check the nfts you bought let's say you bought an nft through auction or through um fixed price or through mystery box and you want to see the nft you bought just tap this user icon at the top right corner of the screen and once you tap it you're going to tap on user center and once you tap on user center, you see the NFTs that you have. Now, in my next video, I'm going to be talking about how to make money by selling NFTs on Binance NFT Marketplace. Now, you shouldn't miss that video. But if you are watching this video after one week of uploading it, you can check the link in the description of this video, the first link to be the link to that video. And if you have any questions about what I've said in this video or about Binance NFT Marketplace or NFTs in general, please drop down in the description of this video. And if you have anything you want me to talk about in this NFT series, please drop them in the comment section of this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you guys in another NFT series video. Bye guys.